Well, I was inspired last night at the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, and for all of those, and I was inspired by our Mexican-influenced uh, teammates. They served me a health drink they called uh, something made from cactus. I wasn't quite sure. And uh, it would just inspired me. And the day went so well with the EMPs and all the beautiful people from our newest partners. And then I heard there's someone in the house that's really going to make everything shake nice. So here's the, here's the whole decision right now. It's my job from where we started yesterday and my partner's job, as he comes right after me, to give you a little insight about the recruiting, the follow-up, and as we learned from Andy Dokus, the follow-through. So I want to talk to you and go through this and give you some insight on how the logic of the flow of your follow-up should go. So first, you've already made an approach, and I will say this, wasn't it special to see Sarah Rose to come out here? She just boomed with energy. She had a smile. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the best way you can approach anyone, just with a smile and a handout and say hello. And you know what? In that conversation, you did some common interest. You've shared what you do. When somebody asks me what I do, I say, I simply have a product brokerage and internet marketing company that specializes in anti-aging and weight loss. You probably know several people that want to lose weight or live forever, and they always have something to say. Now, you also want to know why you got into the business, so you need to understand that answer or your two-minute commercial. But more important, what are you looking for? You really have to transition the conversation to be able to move them to give you something that may allow you to offer them a solution. And you move to book an appointment. So I want to talk to you about that. Many of you are booking the appointment without setting a time or place. So you have to set a time and location at the time of the booking. I think we fail when we take a business card and just take the information and not ask them what day is best for you. Is it Thursday, Saturday? Either day works for me, afternoon is better. How about you? You have to try to narrow that down. You also need to get their details, specifically phone and email. When you do that, i found that in recruiting, very effectively, I mean closing 50% of the time, by taking the email and setting up a brief outline of the upcoming meet, you're able to confirm exactly what will happen. So the first thing that goes on is confirm the mutual benefit. Like you, I understand that it's important for you to increase your bottom line, whatever the conversation went to. You also want to talk about, we're going to talk about what is it that you're looking for that's going to make a difference for you. We'll do an overview of our unfranchised business, and we'll give you time for questions and answers. Now, it's very important to also include with your email confirmation something simple as for information. Our Market America PDF, whether it be in Spanish or whether it be in Mandarin or whether it be in English, could be one. But I like the global annual report. I also like to link to a product page that may come up, or I will move them into a power profile tying their goal with someone who has already made it. I want to validate that I have exactly what they want. And I like using a related article. Even though we know there's a chicken wing shortage, that's not the kind of article I use. I would look at your PRM or go to your Market America videos on YouTube. Remember to include the time, the location, and exactly, when I say this, the time that you will spend. If you say 30 minutes, keep it to 30 minutes. If you say an hour, keep it to an hour or less. 
when people tell me we went to get together for an hour, we ended up staying three together, that tells them that you're not very busy. So you want to be able to be disciplined because you're setting the person up to be able to direct them. Everything before the person comes into the business is being put to engagement so that you can have a go now, a distributor with urgency as you come across the finish line and sponsor them. Now, when you get into the first appointment, you want to learn why they want to hear more. Ladies and gentlemen, if they don't want to hear what you have, you really shouldn't show it, (laughs) period. You're wasting your time and their time. You move to further qualify the prospect. Now, people often say, Dennis, well, how do you get them to go there? Well, I just do something really simple. Quick question before I start. Assuming with what I share with you that interests you and works for you, what ultimately do you want from that success? Does everybody see that? I want to know. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what they want, you have no leverage to get them to come back to the next appointment. You see, people will only come to the next appointment. Let me confirm this. How many of you have had people stand you up when you had an appointment? And the reason that happened is, is because they didn't know if you could offer them anything. So find out what you can offer them so when they come back, they know they're going to get exactly that. It could be career changes, becoming debt-free, and so forth. So now we're engaged in the appointment. Don't jump right into the plan and try not to say, let's cut to the chase. Because that's really like impersonal. You know, it's like going out on a date and said, let's forget the date and go home. I mean, what we really have to talk about here is we're a distribution company. And primarily in distribution, as long as there are people on the planet, they will need to buy something. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, wouldn't it be great if you can find a way to provide anything that anybody wanted? So you get into the theme of the key words of what we do. The importance of one-to-one marketing. Working with your best customers and building share of customer. It's easier to sell to an existing customer than to get a new customer. Just say something like that, really easy and simple. Social shopping and online shopping. We want to tie in technology and the fact that more and more people are shopping online. And by the way, are you currently shopping online? Okay. We create wealth through residual income. In my profession, as a former professional athlete, a lot of us got chunks of money. But as a professional athlete, we learned how to spend it really fast. So when it was all done with, we didn't have any. So when you really look at it, these comfortable themes allow you to engage in probing questions that bring people through the whole program. Now the next thing you have to remember, you have to determine how to show the plan. You don't always have to show the entire plan. Your timing may only limit you to talking about product line or internet marketing and the specific things that make our company good, or you go right into the five steps on how you earn income. You don't have to start at page one and go to the end. You have to fit the peg into the right hole. So if it's a round peg, put it in a round hole. Don't put the round peg into the square hole. Now. You always want to make sure that you go through the first section of the Getting Started Guide after you show whatever portion. Real simple. My most important two pages of the Getting Started Guide is this. You can't see this, but I'm going to tell you what it is. This first page ensures the prospect that you're talking to that you're not the only person in the game. So I'm going to talk about how the company will support you in these areas. I'm going to talk to you about if I'm working with, I have a personal trainer, Jason Davis, back in Greensboro. I go on the appointment with them. I tell them, this is Jason, your sponsor. Your uh, executive coordinator will be Jason uh, Hudo, two Jasons in a row, Jessica and Jason. Then you would now go to your advisory council, which would be me. 
and also your area trainer and local coordinator is Cherie Culpepper. So they have all the names right there. So it's not about whether I teach you well, they have a support group around them. I flip around on the next page right up front. What they need to do, what I will in their seat, then I'm gonna say what training requirements they need so I can sell tickets, and then I'm turning around to the action items that they will have to be able to do. But also on page two, the most important part of this is the top 10 names that they would like to be in business in which you as a sponsor will train your new distributor by approaching these people for product sales as well as showing the plan and the business, okay? Good. So at this point, you want to find out where are they? So I have really been engaged with this graph. I print them out and it's whether a product or whether it's money, I'm going to find out where they think they are. And they're simply saying, are you on, I'm going to say, are you on a financial plan or are you planning for your financial future? Assuming that zero represents the absence of financial challenges, how would you rate where you want to be or where you want to go? Once they put that in there, I can immediately begin talking about what type of numbers will take you to that position of comfort. Does everybody understand that? You have to bring them along and know who you're working with. I am not doing this for my health. I'm doing this for my financial wealth and helping people. Now, when you finish the appointment, part of the qualifier is selling a product. Don't be afraid to sell a product and charge for them. Now, here's my, my rule. I'm going to tell you my very good dear partner, Kevin Buckman, he don't give anything at a discounted price. You're paying retail, all right? Since I'm recruiting the person, I'll give them the product for 10% over my cost, all right? I just want them on the product so that they have a product that they can gain what? Confidence and belief, very important. I move them to being an effective retailer, which is part of distribution. You have to be a product of the product, and you will become a Market America household so that you can be more efficient in selling product, and we will move into a discussion now since it's been JR's new love, I follow him for 21 years, shopping annuity. I'm going right in there and talk to him about shopping annuity. And then I will make the product recommendation. Don't give the catalog. You know which products make the most money and build the business faster, so put them in the best major with the most popular products. So go right to cosmetics, web centers, health and nutrition, weight loss, okay? That's where you wanna go with your product recommendation. The next part of that appointment is that you're going to say you'll need to learn more about what we've just discussed. I want you to meet some of the successful people in the area. Alice Chen's going to be doing our next UBP. And I am going to do what? Sell a ticket. There's value in this. It does have a cost. And then if you don't have an NMTSS system, you book the appointment to get back together to show them the plan that will take them to their goal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna say that again. They will come back if you say, our next meeting is to discuss exactly what you have to do to get exactly what you want. I don't matter. It is my prospect that matters. Do you get that? Okay, good, good, wonderful, wonderful. Now, we come down to this and people, <laughs> I always think of this story, I, I like to ask people, tell me about your best clothes. You've shown the plan, you're all the way down there. I said, well, tell me about your best clothes. And one lady said to me, she says, well, Dennis, I like my, I have a nice brown business suit I like to wear. And I, I guess it was the way that I said it, not clothes, but clothes. So if you do your job right, taking a person through the appointment or when you first meet them on your approach, through the recruiting process, this is before they sign up, a very simple close that has worked for me for years and continue and will continue for the rest of my life is something just as simple as 
based on what you want and based on what you've learned with our unfranchised business development system, is there any reason why we shouldn't start right away? That's it. That's it. All right. Now, the point I'm trying to make here, everything we do is systemized. All you have to do is apply the greatness that you were blessed with when you were put on this earth. And every one of you have it. Now, I'm going to bring up my fellow partner here on the executive sales team who's going to give you another illustration because it is the follow-up and follow-through and what you do with your new distributors that make it most important for your success. So thank you very much. Now, help me bring back to the stage the most amazing individual. Love him. He's traveled the globe for us. He's new to our executive sales team. He's, a, he's just in a field of his own, field of dreams. He's the Vice President of Sales for Market America. Bring up Jim Winkler. I was getting worried for a minute when I heard Dennis announcing me, he wanted me to dance with him. And that would have scared me because I would have looked very bad. I get the uh, pleasure of taking you through the follow-up process for a new business partner. Now, Dennis just took you through what to do with a prospect. I'm going to take it to a, another level because, you know, here's what happens. Tell me if any of you have fallen into this. We get so excited when we get a new business partner. We're fired up, we've worked hard, we get the new business partner, then what happens? We're looking for the next one or we don't know what to do, we don't get the necessary steps done, we don't get them making money fast enough and they end up not doing that well. So. The question becomes, now what do I do? This is the most important step. I'm going to tell you uh, something very important right now. Everyone in this room can increase your recruiting tremendously by just taking action. But with that being said, you have to make sure you do the steps afterwards to create a huge organization. I am a firm believer that we are underachieving badly in recruiting, but we're underachieving worsely, is that a word? We're, we're doing worse in the follow-up process that we can do better. I see this room, I see the people and I see the talent, and I'm gonna be very honest, I, I see where we're gonna have a, a day in the next year, the next two years, where we're gonna have people have sponsored 30, 40, 50, 60 people. Um, and, and the follow-up is gonna be amazing because all the systems and simplicity are going to be there to make it go so much faster for you. And that's what we're gonna have. So let's, let's learn what we have to do now. Start teaching action steps that a new business partner can do from day one. We tend to overcomplicate the business, don't we? I mean, I think, it's a, I think it's a common thing we do, and we overcomplicate it. So we gotta think, we gotta remember back to when we were new. And a lot of us started, and we started quick because of the simple things we did. What were those simple things? We used and we shared products. You heard JR talking about using products. You heard us talking about retailing talking about how to introduce this business to other people with the tools we have and by sitting down with people, with working in the homes, one-on-ones. And, you know, we bought and sold tickets. That wasn't a thing we taught. That was part of our DNA. It's what we do. We buy and sell tickets. That is where we build the business. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you took what you see on this screen, and you put this into action every day for the rest of the year, 2013 would be a life-changing, not a good year, not a great year, a life-changing year for you. We overcomplicate it because we want to make it seem harder than it is. It's not that hard. It's just effort. That's all it takes. And one thing we have to do is we have to schedule. It's one of our most important words. A lot of us work full-time jobs. We're busy. We have limited times. We have to really take a look. And I'm going to go to the same thing Dennis went, which was a getting started guide. I'm going to try to really simplify this down. You start a new person. He gave you the information. You go through. You let them know who they're working with. To me, the most important part of this guide is this page right here. I'm going to go so far as to say, if everybody in this room started using this one page and you filled it out to completion, 
Your follow-up with new distributors would be so much better. Your growth would go off the charts with what would happen. Because what do we have here? We, we have commitment. I'm going to follow the system. We have that we're going to put time into it. We're going to purchase tickets. We're going to create a personal my list. We're going to listen to audios. One of the most uh, underused things we have is our audio curriculum that should be used over and over. I know when I started, I listened to audios nonstop. I had to retrain my brain. Then you take a look and you say, okay, so now I've made a commitment. What do I do? Because this is really what happens to our new distributors. What do I do? Now we've got the training dates there, as Dennis talked about them. The training dates are set. We get organized. We put it in the calendar. But here's where we make a mistake sometimes, and we've all done it. We start overtraining and underdoing. There comes a point we have to do things to, so that person can see that they can generate customers, they can make money. And if all we do is train, 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 and they don't start to see some kind of return, we will end up losing good people. So here's what we need to do, this section right here. We need to get, involved, get a product overview set up for them, an in-home meeting where you can introduce some products. Use the sheet we introduced earlier. Play a video. You say, well, I don't know the, how to describe the products that well. Talk about one package, play a video, let someone else do it, and then take the order, whatever it is. Get an in-home business presentation set up. 1998, I show up at what was called at that point leadership school at the Knight Center here in Miami with 7,000 people. I see this crazy blonde-haired lady on stage. She's making a million a year almost. That was Elizabeth Weber. She has more energy in her little toe than most people have in their whole body. But this lady gets on stage and all she talks about is I work in the homes. I do home kickoffs three times a week, four times a week, five times a week. Small group meetings where it's personal, where we can spend time. I'm an executive coordinator. I go home, I have a group of 20 people. I book 19 home presentations. Every single person from there on that came on, I booked a home presentation with. I came back to international convention six months later and I was a supervising coordinator with the company. And I have never stopped building in the home and I never will. And that's where you all need to be too, okay? Getting tickets for international convention, that was one of the things that we had on there. Create a possibilities list. You know, you got 10 names right there. Elizabeth and I were talking the other day, because I'm a big proponent, as everybody knows, of call workshops. She said, Jim, I don't even wait for the call workshop. We get the 10 names, we just start calling right now. Let's get it done, why wait? But here's what a lot of us are doing. Well, this is good, we filled out some things. Let's book an appointment to get together to talk about how I'll train you to do a call workshop. Guys, here's what we do, we take action. You say, well, I don't know how to do it that well. I'm gonna tell you what, either did any of us. My calls were horrible. I stunk, didn't matter, I got better by doing. First time I showed the plan, I, if Kristen Hill, if you're here, her, her and her husband just said, oh my God, it's gonna be horrible. They, they sit there and they looked and they said, I cannot believe how bad you are. <laughs> Didn't matter. It's, you get better by doing. You do understand that, right? And that's what we're doing is follow-up right now. So how fast can we get in front of five to ten of their contacts? We need to move fast with people. We want to go right away. Is the follow-up scheduled after the initial enrollment so you're ready to go with this? Have you started the, start, the getting started guide? I mean, when you're, stop with the, I hear people say sometimes, it only takes 15 minutes to start your business. Man, do I cringe. It takes 15 minutes to do the enrollment on the online. It does not take 15 minutes to set you up to get going right. We gotta get that first page, one page of the Getting Started Guide done. Do you have the home product ske presentation scheduled? Do you have the home presentation scheduled? I, I mentioned I'm a big fan of call workshops and here's what a call workshop is to keep it real simple. Get a couple people together and start making phone calls to prospects. People say, well, I, I don't know exactly what to say. How would you talk to a friend if you were inviting them to something? 
Don't act unusual or, or weird. Talk to them in the manner they need to be talked to. I'm going to tell you, here's why it works, because we get together, and when you have more than one person together, you're held accountable. Because you're held accountable, you'll do more. We do these on the Moving Up seminars, and I know, uh, you know, People like Todd and Laura Lair, we had Jackie Blasco up, uh, Buddy, the people who have been there doing these. Big Al brought a group. The Big Al's uh, group booked 380 appointments in two and a half hours of call workshops. Um, to me, th this just makes sense. It forces people to do what maybe they haven't done yet in the business because everything starts from there. I had to review our own business and, and say, what is going to keep this thing moving fast while I have a full-time position that is taking a lot of hours and I'm out of the country many times? And I thought, these are the three things that I need to keep doing and what I picked. I need to keep recruiting. I, and people say, well, how can you recruit if you're traveling, if you're gone? Because you can, our system allows you to recruit, and because we build vertically, you can put them down below people and create teams of people who will work for you, with you, while you're doing that. I needed accountability groups to keep my leaders on pace, and I think accountability is one of the biggest follow-up things you can have with a new person. In the Moving Up seminars, I started putting every person I could in my own organization onto those moving up seminars because I wanted them to get in-depth two-day trainings on how to build this business. This is an example of one of our accountability sheets, and I've got the address where you can find it at manorthern.com. We, we update it every 12 weeks, and you can find it. What this is is just a simple... Um, point system for doing some different things. And you'll see the points are weighted on result producing activities. We have used this for over four, four or five years. We have all of our leaders on it and we have all our rising stars on there. We continue to put them on because then we can mix the old with the new and everybody can learn from each other. Um, accountability to me is focus, it, it's com competition, it's teamwork, and it ends up being result producing activities. I also believe in using Facebook accountability groups. You've heard us talk about those a little bit, but in that accountability system, we have a group. So numbers are posted. How are you doing is put up there. I can't go into depth on how we do this today. It is something we do in depth on our Moving Up seminars where we can really go into it. But it is so important to be accountable because when you're new to the business, and I've said this for you, the best thing about owning a business is you're a business owner. The hardest thing about owning a business is you're the business owner. Because you, we're, a lot of us are used to reporting to people and we've never had where we held ourselves accountable, so sometimes we need a partner to help us. What are some good duplication tools? Product videos on the MA YouTube channel. I mean, I think we really underutilize our YouTube videos right now for exposure. Um, the new business presentation, Andrew and I have set a deadline of uh, two weeks to have that out and up. You'll see massive announcements on it. I know you saw a couple of the highlights on that. Um, many of you have used the jwlive.info webinar, which is about a 55-minute uh, business presentation that we go through, and then home presentations. These are all duplicatable tools that everybody can use. So we do the follow-up with my new person. Now what happens? We have to teach your team to do the same thing. And this is where this comes in. It's not just doing it once, it's teaching it over and over again. I'm a firm believer that we don't manage people. You lead people and you manage things. Would you guys agree with that? And if you want to become a great leader, or if you want to be one of these great income earners that we have, you do that by doing the things you expect your group to be able to do. And part of that is to continue recruiting and building in your business. Because by doing this, you will teach other people how to do the same thing. Some of you say, I'm scared, Jim. I've never done something like this then do more. Massive action will always overcome fear. What you're scared of is probably costing you the most money right now. Some of you, my, building is, my business isn't building fast enough, Jim. Do more. Show more plans, sell more product, attend more events. You do not know how close you are to becoming great at this business. And a lot of times it's just doing a little bit more than you're doing now. But Jim, my, my people just aren't building. 
Take massive action and go re recruit some people who want to build. Stop trying to change people. Stop trying to make people do what they don't want to do. You know, if you've started somebody perfect and you've done everything you could for them, but they really just want to use and retail product, I love people like that, don't you guys? Those are great business partners. But if I depend on them to build a six-figure income for me, I am making a huge mistake. I need to find other people who want it the way I want it to be able to do that. Sometimes I hear my people don't retail, Jim. You know, my, my group can, they can sponsor, but they don't retail that well. Take massive action and go recruit some people who want to retail and teach them the way to do it. I, I, you know, I've said this for years, stop trying to polish a turd. Don't make people, you can't change it, it's still a turd. Don't try to make people do what they don't want to do. Find people who want to do it and do it with them. My people aren't buying tickets to the seminars. You know, Jim, my people haven't bought enough international convention tickets. If they haven't gotten the message from this weekend, if they can't see how they can go build it, then you need to take massive action and find some people who want to do it your way and who want to build an ongoing six-figure income. My people won't do home presentations. Take massive action and find some who will. Let me ask you a question. Who's the leader, you or them? You're going to be the leader. You need to teach the new people the right way to do it. My buddy Kevin Buckman always says, does the tiger wag the tail or does the tail wag the tiger? For those of you who don't understand that, you are the tiger. You're in control. You're going to teach people how to do it right. So here's our call to action. If you haven't started people right, go home and tell them the truth and say, I didn't do it perfectly. I left 1998 leadership school, our world conference now. I went home to 20 people and I said, I, start of all, I started all of you incorrectly and I apologize. And some of you are here and you know this is a true story. I said, I didn't know to do home presentations. I didn't know you should be at the major events. I didn't push hard enough and I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. But I, I was honest, I came from my heart and I let them know I wanted them to succeed and this is how you do it. And then you do it right from now on. You become that example you want your people to see. Teach them by leading. Take massive action. So remember, use and sell your products. How many of you can remember to do these things? Introduce the business, buy and sell tickets, and work in the homes. Guys, let's make 2013 our best year ever. You agree? Thank you so much.